Welcome back. Oh, what are you doing? So, you're actually going to have... A lot has happened that the people have seen that you haven't seen. I actually haven't physically seen it either. You get yourself a Glenn. But, welcome back for the bourbon junkies. He's doing, I'm showing. Hope you enjoyed I, the intro. Apparently he's going to film me. What intro? Well, there'll be B-roll. Oh, that's true. There's also video from someone else. The reason this bottle's open is not because I've had it, because I haven't. Oh. So our buddy, Destination Bourbon, went and picked this up. Unfortunately, I can't show you the video because I don't have it in my possession. He does. And he opened it at the distillery and drank it. You think his dirty lips have been in this bottle? I'm bottom? pretty sure. I guarantee it. So, we had to give it two weeks for Rona purposes. <laughs> <laughs> Listen. Well, I got Dan Shook's Angel's Envy box. They wouldn't let me open it in the store. They're being really strange and weird. So, came out to my car to open this. Take a look at what Danny Boy, see what Danny Boy has in here. See what I want to do with it. Because, I mean, you know, why would I not want to do something with it? Oh, so the bottle, the box opens like this. And what do we have inside here? We have Kentucky Straight Bourbon Whiskey finished in Japanese Mizunara Oak Casks. I mean, somebody drives all the way down to Louisville to pick up a bottle. You should probably open that said bottle because of the types of people that Dan is the bourbon junkies are Dan is <sighs> might just have to America take a bottle chug of their whiskey oh that's uh that's damn good that is a unique gal right there. Well, maybe you'll get it, Dan. Maybe you won't. It's hard telling. Biggest angel, the smallest angels release, but the biggest ever. Miva Nurag. I feel like you actually got that right. I think so. So, thanks Klein for opening our bottle for us, buddy. It only costs $370 to be exact. I, so. Oh, cheap. Yep. Um, now. It is dark as food. It's a blend of four to nine year old whiskeys. Yeah, I feel like this is, this is a constant, this is a, yeah. This, yeah. Oh, Am I worthy? That felt like a lot. That felt like a lot. Okay, that's fair. Um, only a little in the neck. Holden did steal oh. the cork to it. Perfect. Yep, we do have this. Now, the instructions in the box do say, remove the cork and put this in it. Okay. So I've just followed instructions. Man, this, oh. it's good weight. Box but is it, real stable. It just, it's crystal. I know, I don't. The bottle's crystal. The cork, or this is crystal. That's the 300 so far. Yep, there you go. Okay. So then hopefully at least, if this whiskey's worth $70, we're in it. We have bottle number 195. Before we get into the whiskey, this video is dedicated to a $100 oh. patron, Corey Clement. There was fire. It's actually Clemens, I'm pretty sure. I would guarantee there's it. I know there's not an A, but Clem Clemens felt better, actually. So, Corey, thank you for being a $100 patron, that. buddy. Thank you My for Lord. supporting us and taking care of us, and we love you very much. Yeah, so this is 97.8 uh, proof. Yep. Very specific. As opposed to non, proofs are usually pretty specific. They're about that specific often. There is a bottle somewhere in the hut for that sure has there like is. two digits. Yeah, there for sure is. There for like sure point is. Like 0.84 or yeah. something. It was like... 100%. What did you round that? So this bottle, like we just said, cost probably too much money. We're going into it already thinking that if we're being completely honest. Oh, that was This is Angel's Envy's smallest release. I believe there were 1,200 bottles. Uh, retail was 350 plus tax. <clears throat> Crashed the website for hours. Yeah. Yeah, two hours I think. But it does come in this box, which... Can I, I be honest? Do you think that this box is better than Angel's Envy Cast Strength? 
Oh yeah. Really? Yeah. That's way cooler. The Angels on Vacation is like a coffin. But the the 2020 had that like cool like right? knot work around the right? outside. That was really cool. And it's wood. And this is yeah. not wood. This is like I, cardboardy. But I think. Hmm. Now, this is pretty. Yeah. That's real pretty. Like, I'm gonna say I think that looks better, but I think okay. the wood feels That's better. Fair. Okay. With that. So you do get this little is that uh, max down, you bam, you're just taking pictures. We like, accidentally Woo! just did that. Yep. We didn't know it did that. Nope. Um it does Can we get come into with this. Whiskey, please? It says this no. bourbon was crowned using one of the five Missouri around on old cask that were secured for Founders Day 10 year anniversary celebration. What there was you it? Go. It was what cask? Mizurana. So it's a Japanese tree. Dude, you gotta find a picture. Have you seen one before? Mm. Find a picture, thank you Airplane for the commentary. Find a picture and put one on the screen. Okay. They're wild looking. Mizanura, okay. I would say. Can I tell you quickly why they other people Mizanura, don't use them? Maybe, I don't know. Why people don't use them? Probably a pain in the ass to harvest. So, no, apparently it takes so many trees to make one barrel mm -hmm. because none of the tree is straight. Yeah. They're all these, so they're would, these windy crooked trees. That would be called trees. a pain in the ass to harvest. No, no, you can cut them down easily. Very easy to cut them down, which is harvesting, right? Molding, shaping, construction-wise, not great. So, there you go. History lesson. Nailed it. How is that a history lesson? I feel lesson? like I nailed it. How is that a history The Miserana tree has been around since 1940, history lesson. Since 1940, huh? Yeah, I didn't go back far enough. I really 1940. didn't. 1940. <laughs> know, we all knew that what this date I was going to say wasn't going to be the right one. That wasn't old. Dub Dub 2. That was not the right date. Okay. Oh. So. Is it nutty? It's got some funk on Why it. Why is it nutty? I think it's woody. Thanks. I think it's. Klein. It's been open for two weeks. This it, thing's aired out. I don't think it's nutty. I think it's like a, a light woodiness in it's there. It's nutty. It smells like. Slightly sour. Oh. Oh. Like if I was blinding this, I would say schmickle, maybe? I, w I was leaning towards the pokers, honestly. Oh, it ain't that nutty. Get out of here. Now, can we just say, probably one of the most beautiful bottles on the market at this moment here. It's got the uh, raised uh, angel wings in the back. And it's got this nice girth curve to her. What you're telling me is it's definitely worth 370. Now, let's, let me preface this. You know, we really like Angel's Cast Strength a lot. Like a lot. Like a lot, a lot. And we actually really like the Tawny Port and the Sherry. Yeah, where's that at? Which we're both around 200 to 250. Is this the Tawny Port? Yeah. This is uh, last year's. Yep. I, you know, I just got like a not ripe raspberry. You should drink it. Not ripe Just raspberry. drink it. Just drink it. You're gonna drink that and tell me you don't think that could be schmickle? It's like if you took schmickle and uh, cut it with some wild turkey. I almost, There's like some cinnamon in there. I almost feel like I need a minute to comprehend that it, this costs as much as it costs and it tastes like that. But I get like the waxiness off a beam Dan's actually physically walking away. Okay, here's what I'm gonna do. All right, what are you gonna do? I'm gonna take a clean Kenzie. Okay. We know that's clean. Literally never been used. Never been used. Never. Yes. Could have used one of the clean rocks glasses too. No, but I just, these have this a very similar snouting ability. Snouting. As a Glen. It's not the Glen. Okay, I just wanted to confirm. It was worth an experiment, right? Neither can confirm nor deny. No, not it was a Glen. It's a little. It's like a, a cinnamon candle. Burning. Like I get some cinnamon. It's I get some folly. waxiness. Oh, get some weird sour oak. What is the yeah, there is a funkiness that I think is somewhere between a dickle and a Booker's. Yeah. Like it's not peanutty like Booker's is, right? Or Jim Beam is. It's not peanutty. But it's not bitter and sour like to the extent of Dickel. Oh Schmickle. Or or Schmied and Schmove. Whichever. Yeah. Okay. I do get a lot of cinnamon. I, I completely agree with you on the cinnamon, honestly. I just don't think that's my jam. I'm gonna be completely honest with you there. Well, Corey, I hope that we said we appreciated you and we do love you a lot. We enjoy having you around. We had not drank so this before we picked your name to do this for. I told Dan I feel bad to dedicate this episode to a person. Clint <clears throat> told me this is one of his favorite whiskeys he's ever had. Bullshit. 
Oh, that's uh, that's damn good. I'm gonna be completely honest. At three hundred and seventy dollars, F. I was gonna go E plus. F. So. F minus. Man, and we like angels. Yeah. This is the I think the most. I think that's the biggest letdown. We, I like the normal angels. Like I've killed three or four bottles of the normal angels. Mm. At least give me the blue one to drink out of, like a mm. savage. All right, I'm gonna throw. I think it's holding that in there. Is this a hundred proof? No. One. Oh, this is one one eleven. I thought that was higher. Okay, these are the. You know what? Throw them up on the box. These are the last two releases. Oh my god, this destroys that. Oh sweet Jesus! This what is a sherry? This Oloroso? is Oloroso. Man. Yeah. Oloroso, Tony Fart. Now, we've these never... These two are holy cow, so much better. We've never reviewed these. We, Well, we did review this. We never, we never reviewed, reviewed this. That. But these are all very expensive, obviously. 200, 200. Yep. Three, almost 350. 400. 200 tax, 225 or 250 plus tax, 350 I'd plus I'd rather tax. have both of these rather than one of those. I mean, at this point, I'd rather have either one of these than that. Okay. We're the Bourbon Junkies. Thank you for watching. That's so much better. Corey. We love you very much. And Thank I want you. you to know that. I hope that you enjoy this more than we did when you get some. Um, check out the Facebook group. Like, comment, subscribe to the channel. Definitely do that. Check out our Patreon if you want some behind over the scenes. There. Um, check us out on Tuesday nights. We live stream. Yeah. It's a lot of fun. We love you guys. Thanks for being here. Um, this is a huge pass. Not that you can still buy it. But not worth $370. It's fucking so much on the second. 1500 I feel so bad for anyone that paid that. That person didn't open it, so.